Okay, guys, I know it's been a long time and I apologize. I've been taking a break from social media. I've had quite a year. I got married a few months after getting married, like four months after we got pregnant. And now I am due uh, any day now. So I'm 38 weeks pregnant, but I really felt God putting this message on my heart. I'm also building a new social media platform. And so that's something that I will do an update in the future. But for now, this video is about what is Easter. So let's continue. Hey guys. Okay. So what is Easter and what is it all about? So maybe you've never heard of Easter before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't been to church in years. Maybe you were raised Christian or some Christian faith and never really got it and fell away. But I just wanted to share this is a video that I felt God was putting on my heart to, to film. So what is Easter? <laughs> Jesus restored us to the Father to the point where we are able to be restored as sons and daughters with God. So instead of just being, we're no longer slaves. We are no longer in bondage to sin, but we are free in Christ. And we are restored as sons and daughters with God the Father, walking in intimacy with him, like how Adam and Eve did in the garden. So I'm sure you've all heard the message, God sent his only son because we were such sinners to die for us so that we could be forgiven of our sins and be restored to right relationship with God and be safe from going to hell. So yes, we've all heard that and that is true, but there's so much more to it than that. And so for the scripture for today, we're gonna go through Ephesians 1. All right, this is the NLT version of the Bible. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. God has now revealed to us his mysterious will regarding Christ which is to fulfill his own good plan. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Christ, everything in heaven and on earth. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for he chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan. God's purpose was that we, the Jews, who were the first to trust in Christ would bring praise and glory to God. And now you Gentiles, have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify him. So, wow, right there, there it is. It wasn't just to forgive us of our sins and save us from hell. It was to restore us to right relationship with the Father as sons and daughters. It is so much bigger. We get to walk in intimacy because of Jesus with God the Father. Like back in the original garden with Adam and Eve. That's good news. So praise God. Happy Easter. If you are a Christian, just know that you are a son or a daughter of God. It is so much more than just being a sinner saved by grace. Yes, we are sinners saved by grace and praise God and how good is God's grace. But we are also restored from that position, no longer slaves, but restored as sons and daughters of the Father. We don't just stop there. We get to go to our Father in intimacy, in trust, and in relationship. It's not about religion, it's about relationship. And that is why Jesus came. God bless you, happy Easter.